hello guys welcome back to the channel and this is our next problem that is of c type and the problem link is slash problem slash four slash c so the problem name is registration systems let me just open the whiteboard and yep so uh, currently i am uh, skipping the problems here and i will be solving only b and c and the above problems higher priority problems as we have done a types problems and that are very basic ones and clearly we have done 30 to 35 problems here so i don't think that we need to brush more upon a a type of problems and when you like feel like more time then you can devote to a problems but we have to be quick on learning so let's just move quickly to b problems and c problems and the next thing i want to share is that uh, do keep uh, practicing keep the programming competitive programming and whenever you feel stuck just uh, keep uh, scratching your heads around and if you are not uh, like able to find the solution then uh, just go on the uh, go with the tutorials and find the tutorial and one thing i am also find uh, also finding that there are many contests that are being held so i am just trying to stick my schedule to participate in that context contest so i am planning from the next week or next to next week that i should start with the contest also but i will not record that videos in lifetime because that is a uh, like uh, that's a like a way of cheating we should not like code lively in the uh, live contest so i will be uploading videos later on so let's just move to the problem uh, problem number uh, 4c and so a new email service berlin disk is going to be opened in berlin in the near future the site administration wants to launch their project as soon as possible that's why they ask you to help you are suggested to implement the prototype of site registration system so the system should work on the following principle so each time a new user wants to register he sends to the system a request with his name if such a name does not exist in the system database it is inserted into the system and the user gets the okay response confirming the successful registration so you are going to build a registration system and you are just building the prototype so whenever a new name enters into the system it is inserted into the database and the user gets the response okay if the name already exists in the system then the system makes up the new username sends it to the user as a prompt and also inserts the prompt into its database so the new name is formed by the following rule numbers starting with one are appended one after another to name name one name two among these numbers at least i is found so that name i does not yet exist in the database so basically the databases can like many people have similar names so what does the system registration system does is that it depends a unique integer i which does not exist in the database yet so the first line contains an integer n that contains the request to the system and the next 10 lines contains the 32 characters latin letters so you have to check whether there is a successful registration or there is a prompt so i think that's a good problem and you see you you can have data structure and hashing implemented here so you have to take like you have to use hash data structure but i will after using the hashing data structure will write to uh, read the tutorials here also so that we we come to uh, like we have we should have a practice to read the tutorial of every problem that how great is our solution compared to the mentioned in the tutorial as we all know that tutorials have great solutions because we are just beginners and and when like in the near future you all also might be writing the tutorials and the solution to the problems in the near future hope so so yes uh, so basically uh, we you are using a data structure called hash map and a hash map is a like key value pair and it's a data structure so 
just have to like uh, for the first input it prints ok because the hash map does not contains this username for this it prints ok now for the next same entry it prints the same number sorry for the writing a b a c a b a and it kept an integer id 1 so that is the prompt here and this is the output and for the next it prints ok so i think the problem makes clear what we are actually gonna do that whenever the integer is found then you have to just increment that counter with 1 and just insert that, that into the db insert that okay so yes let's just quote and see whether our registration system works or not <laughs> so problem number so guys um actually i'm like i've recently made the video of uh, link list so guys do uh, share that video and leave your useful comments if you liked it or not if you face any problems then please share so that i can know what exactly i'm lacking and so that i can improve in the next videos so let's just keep the track of nt now goes to one and now you have also to create a hash map now hash map would be of key string and the integer value uh, usernames so now if like you just uh, string inputted username okay now you just take the input from the user and if usernames dot contains key inputted username then you have to apply that logic this one now we are gonna not play that but first of all we just use a name sort add put uh, inputted username and the value would be one why i'm keeping the value one as i'm keeping the count of the repeated integers like uh, if a is like just take another example so i have an input a a so if a is inputted into the system then a it's count one then another if the input is found a for the username then that count is implement like that count is incremented and we have the new count a2 so we have a hash map with single a string type in uh, of key string and that is an integer so we are just incremented the integer now again if the a is found then a will be three sorry two and here it will be three i think it is clear to you why i have taken the integer because it is clearly stated that numbers starting with one are appended to the name as to up to any number i such that it does not exist in the database so so what you have to do here is that like you have to search for inputted username no sorry you have to return ok here and you have to print um inputted username plus plus usernames dot okay for the first time you just 
get the key usernames and that returns an integer so that gives us the value and then you just input it username uh, usernames dot put with the same input it username and usernames dot get input it username plus one so I think and here will be input it username so I think we are done with the solution and it's a C type of problem so first test case passes and for the next test case okay first one okay second one okay third one so yes both test case passes and I think it wasn't very easy solution and you just have like you just have been thinking that we have solved a C type of problem and it's the very first problem for C that we have done and okay we got a run time error why is there an error so I think we have done something wrong okay Mm. why is there a run time error first type of error is this exit code is one run time error I think we are dealing with some problem because okay mm. let me just uh, check uh, why is there a run time error okay we are clear with the solution I think I am missing something um, mm. it is printing fine Okay. Why is there a run time error? Um, just uh, like read the problem again. I think we have gone somewhere wrong. For we see, we see. Okay. Like for the first test case, it is giving us the runtime error. For the runtime error, mm. it's printing. Okay, why does this printed? Um, let me just think. There is no such error, but what I can do there is that. Let's just check. Mm. So, guys, uh, what I have, I uh, like. Um, I think what I'm missing majorly is that like you have to but that is not a type of like uh, just revolted just revolt. so let's just take that to long and and you have to uh, like put that new string into the database so just put that into the uh, like into the uh, to that uh, so ok 
okay now that should be valid one so let's just submit that and see what problem we are facing let's just first run that check whether we have solved the problem or not so let's just um, push that solution i don't know why it is submitted but it should be uh not submitted in time error okay i'm sorry this is the error basically when you copy the whole code you copy the whole package also that's what happened please do not do that okay guys so that was the mistake that i was doing i was pack copying the package code for this so that's why it's run time error so guys sorry for that i was missing my own head is not working <laughs> so guys this can be and this can happen there is no problem in that you was copying the package code for this here and you have to just copy this and paste so uh, this solution is accepted and the solution for c registration system has been done so guys thank you for watching okay bye bye